All right, hey there, friends and fellow growers. I just wanted to give you a quick update. I'm a week away from a harvest window. This is a shot here of the newly discovered gut buster strain in my beds. Um, we've I got confirmation uh, from some reputable sources. This is indeed the gut buster. Plus, there was only a handful of things it could have been, and I'm I'm positive it is what it is based on its kind of aroma profile and. Uh, some other people that have grown grown this strain that can verify the flower scents or whatever so um, I really like them they're very very dense uh, where are you at they're super dense and very 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 uh, just covered in trikes so um, yeah week away from harvest this middle overgrown bed as you've seen before those two middle plants just kind of parted and I've got them staked up with stakes on the other side and a stake over there and they're just kind of leaning on each other and that's okay everybody needs a little support now and again but uh, you can hear my cat out there <laughs> he wants in anyway uh, we're starting to get heavy foxtail in you know I suspect from the heat being close to the light and then um, its maturity level and we're not using plant growth regulators so they're gonna you're gonna get the occasional weird little foxtail. That's not gonna matter in the rosin press, is it? So anyway, um, I pulled a sample a week ago, flash dried it, and pressed it in the rosin press and got about a 22% return. Um, so I'm really hoping for you know, 25, 30% from these finished flowers. Uh, I know a lot of folks have been uh, anxiously waiting the no-till 101 and I've got the first couple videos outlined on, on how I want to tackle it content wise and I'm going out and I'm gonna buy an actual video recorder and so I can quit shooting these videos with my phone um, anyway so the first video it's just they're just gonna be instead of like they're just gonna be talks we're just gonna have no-till talks and it's gonna be you know however many parts we need to get through the info and we're just the first one's going to be plant soil and facilitating the sacred union and and you know it's really that's kind of at the heart of no-till the no-till cultivation ethos is is that sacred union between plant and soil and not just plant and soil but plant and a living active soil that the plant can interact with um, and we'll dig deeper into that topic into that concept uh, with that first video and I promise you guys that's going to be coming in the next week uh, many of you know I've got this commercial kombucha biz going we just uh, secured a little more funding and decided to upgrade the facility a little bit to where we're gonna be able to produce a hundred to two hundred gallons of booch a week so uh, we've got a lot of logistical stuff that we're trying to figure out with that and um, it's taken up a lot of my time and energy uh, but like I said, I, I'm gonna have to shift gears here really soon. And I, I think that during the harvest process, when the beds are, I strike the beds down, would be a great time to shoot a video and talk about the soil and talk about the plant, the plant's union with that soil at that time. Because we'll have a really good look at my beds with no plants in them, it's starting my fourth cycle. So bear with me guys. I fully intend on following through with the no-till talks and uh, I know a lot of you are thirsty for that information and uh, um, it's coming uh, I'm a busy guy and I, I I fully intend on following through so thanks a lot for sticking with me and I've just got over 500 subs which is which is awesome I mean I, I, my subs have doubled in the past month or so since I've started interacting with folks on the uh, round table and uh, try Chrome Chaser TV and, uh, you know, I um, just wanted to say thanks to all my subs that have been around from the get-go. Say what's up to the new ones. And uh, I'm open source, guys. If you have any questions, anytime, hit me up. Uh, I'll try to get another video or video in. I will get another video in before harvest, probably right before harvest. So um, you won't hear from me for a week or so, but I'll be shooting a video right as we, right as we start pulling down. And then I'll do my harvest uh video like I usually do. Alright guys, thanks, be good, and uh, keep growing.